there is a possibility that if the Cowboys decide not to pay Connor Williams, Connor McGovern will be your next left guard. <laughs> So if you know me, I'm a huge fan of Connor McGovern, or rather any Penn State alum that is on the Dallas Cowboys roster. So from what we're hearing with camp, Connor McGovern has been getting first team snaps and Connor Williams has been playing center. Now, it seems like a precautionary thing, but the thing that I'm looking at is that if the Cowboys do not elect to retain Connor Williams, is there a possibility that Connor McGovern is your future left guard? Me personally, yes. I think that there is a possibility that if the Cowboys decide not to pay Connor Williams, Connor McGovern will be your next left guard. And I'm glad that the Cowboys have this contingency plan in effect because the last thing we need to do is have a situation where you have a guy that you think is the guy at left guard and then all of a sudden it comes crashing down because you don't have the next guy in place. Now, we're going to talk about what type of strategies that the Cowboys can do when it comes to how can they shuffle this offensive line given the circumstances of what's been going on and a bunch of other things. So. Before we get further into it, if you guys could do me a solid favor and leave a like on this video, it helps so much in YouTube's algorithm. On top of that, subscribe if you're new here to receive more Dallas Cowboys content from yours truly as we go through preseason and the regular season and stuff like that. And also make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content when it drops. So the main thing when you look at the two Connors is that they're around the same age bracket. Connor Williams is a bit younger but then, you know, by a year. And ultimately, you know, he has only one more year left on his deal compared to McGovern, who has this year and the following year. And as I take a look at the market value for Connor Williams, it comes in at $10 million. Now, I did a video talking about should the Cowboys bring back Connor Williams slash has he deserved a new contract? Now, when you look at the other guys in his tier they put uh andrews pete uh ali marpet eric flowers and vitai the dude that's playing on the lions now as i look at this you know connor williams has played more games than pete and marpet now the reason why this is important to talk about is that you know this is the market value you got guys that are getting paid 10 on average 10 million dollars and McGovern has or excuse me Connor Williams has 84 percent of games played and statistically speaking out of them he's okay I mean rating wise um and I don't uh <laughs> I don't really take this too super seriously but Based off of where he's at, he's looking like he's average to above average in his career arc. And if you are to resign him to a five-year deal, you know, and you have him till he's 29, 30, is that better than retaining Connor McGovern, or rather going with Connor McGovern? Well, it comes down to who plays the best and who fits the position more. I have said for the longest time that Connor McGovern has the build to be a guard, and we kind of saw that last year. The problem is, is that Connor Williams has shown, specifically as his career has gone on and even last year, that, hey, listen, he can be dependable as long as he stays upright. And that's the key thing, right, is that Williams has the edge when it comes to his age and not just with McGovern, but the rest of the offensive line. And you look at what could possibly happen with Tyron, Zach Martin, and Lyell. If Tyron ends up, you know, retiring or he gets hurt again, you might have to think about cutting him, giving the money to Connor Williams, and maybe kicking him out the left tackle. But I, I, and to, you know, be completely fair, I think that Connor Williams is better fit for a tackle spot because of his body and build. But 
the thing that bothers me the most is just, you know, do we, you know, what do we do? And down in the comments, put down, how do you feel about this? Should the Cowboys bring back Connor Williams? But Connor McGovern has a interesting situation because at least we have an, like, if Williams leaves and they get the comp pick for him, Dallas has another year with Connor McGovern, but then you're in the same position. But I think what separates McGovern's situation other than Connor Williams is that McGovern doesn't have the, you know, starting time to acumen a big deal. So I think that what Dallas could do is something akin to, okay, they let Williams walk, but they give McGovern a cheap deal that's long term, you know, three to four years. And what they do there is then they roll with him at that position. So that's one way the Cowboys can go about it. Another is the Cowboys re-sign Connor Williams and then McGovern ends up being either just continually being a backup or god forbid something happens to um tyron smith or if they want to put him at center i mean mcgovern has played center in college but i still think he's better at a guard but overall i do think that mcgovern is the future at the left guard position he has the body for it he has the talent for it as long as he stays upright he can do it um now we haven't really gotten a chance to get a sense of how the two are doing because, you know, there hasn't been a whole lot of talk on the offensive line. So I'm hoping that more stuff comes out. But it comes down to how the preseason looks. I think that Connor McGovern should have a huge advantage with the reps in the preseason because it gives him time to fully develop more and stuff like that. And considering we have an extra preseason game, do I think that he plays in that first preseason game? Probably not. But he I'm pretty sure he's going to play some snaps in the next couple ones. So, I didn't want to go on forever and just stretch this out. But I did want to just give my thoughts on the whole situation at left guard and what could possibly happen. Based off of what we're hearing with Connor McGovern, at least he's not doing terrible. <laughs> and we'll see, you know, if this is just a fluke because I know that training camp can do that. But this is stuff that we need to take note of, especially if they're making some form of noise and that translates. So there is that. Now, before we go, if you guys could do me a solid favor and leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell. On top of that, leave down in the comment section below, how do you feel about Connor McGovern? Is he that next guy at left guard or is it just, you know, hey, he's just a backup and I think just the time, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, I'll leave you guys with that, and I'll check you guys out in the next video. All right, guys? Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.